All right, Dante's Boxing Nation over here with the man, the miracle man, I'm Danny I'm feeling Jacobs. happy, Dante. Oh, man. I got a chance to meet you, brother. Oh, it's man. It's been an honor, man. I've I always followed your work. I appreciate I want to say I appreciate you for supporting the sport of boxing, doing such a positive job supporting us fighters. You put our lives on the line, and you do such a tremendous, respectful job of doing what you do for us, and I want to commend you, brother. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So some pretty good news as far as I'm concerned. It was reported yesterday that Deontay Wilder will be meeting with the zone executive chairman next week to discuss a potential deal signing with them so he could obviously get his fight with Anthony Joshua. Now, the fact that Deontay Wilder has already talked to the chairman over the phone and now he's going to actually meet him, that means talks are going well. But this is the more interesting part to me. According to reports, Shelly Finkel, Deontay Waters' manager, his promoter Lou DiBella, and Al Heyman are also going to be attending the meeting with Wilder. You know, this goes to show you, when you hear people say that Al Heyman is not willing to work with other people or other outlets, this proves them wrong. This proves them completely wrong. A lot of people don't know this, but Danny Jacobs is with the zone, and he's still advised by Al Heyman. Even when Danny Jacobs went over to HBO, he was still advised by Al Heyman. So with that being said, there's now a very good chance that we will get to see Wilder versus Anthony Joshua sooner than later. If Anthony Joshua gets past Big Baby Miller, which is not an easy fight, I think this is a very, very dangerous fight for Anthony Joshua. Big Baby Miller, he has that durable come forward style that often gives Anthony Joshua problems. If you don't believe me, go back and watch the Carlos Tackham fight. Even the Pavekin fight. You watched both of those fights. In the Pavekin fight, even though Pavekin was coming forward, Pavekin was out boxing Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua ended up catching him later on and knocking him out. But in the Carlos Tackham fight, Carlos, he started to do better as the fight progressed. And right when he was doing his best, that's when the referee stopped the fight and it looked like he was really saving Anthony Joshua as opposed to saving Carlos Tackham. So in the Carlos Tackham fight, Carlos started to slowly walk down Anthony Joshua. Now remember, Carlos Tackham is much smaller than Big Baby Miller. He doesn't have the skill that Big Baby Miller has. What really impresses me with Big Baby Miller is Gerald is 300 pounds, but he'll be fighting in the 12th round like he's fighting in the first round. He's in very good shape to be 300 pounds. He doesn't really slow down. So if Anthony Joshua doesn't knock out Gerald, it's gonna be a long night for him. But once again, man, this is uh, great news with Deontay Wilder uh, talking to the zone. If he signs with the zone, he's most likely gonna sign a multi-fight deal something that Eddie Hearn has been trying to get Wilder to do for quite some time. So the zone now has Demetrius Andre, Danny Jacobs, Anthony Joshua, Canelo Alvarez, Golovkin, and they may possibly get Deontay Wilder next. That's not a bad roster at all. The zone is looking really good right now, guys. If we get to watch Wilder versus Anthony Joshua for $9.99, as opposed to $80 or $100, the fans are winning. The fans are completely winning in that situation. And this will definitely be win-win for Deontay Wilder. Because Deontay Wilder, he had the fight with Tyson Fury. It turned out to be a big fight. Tyson Fury decided not to take the rematch. So now Deontay Wilder may actually get Anthony Joshua before a Tyson Fury gets Anthony Joshua. It's ironic because before Wilder fought against Tyson Fury, both Wilder and Anthony Joshua, they wanted to fight Tyson Fury. And Deontay Wilder got Fury first. Now, since Tyson Fury walked away from a rematch with Wilder, now both Wilder and Fury want an Anthony Joshua fight. And it looks like Wilder is going to beat Tyson 
to the AJ fight. Now, something else that was reported, Deontay Wilder, he will not be negotiating with the zones Eddie Hearn to broker this deal if he signs with them. So we'll see what happens next week, guys. We'll see what happens. But if Deontay Wilder goes over to the zone, I wouldn't be surprised if a Jamal Charlo goes over to the zone just to once again have a better shot at getting Golovkin and Canelo in the ring. Once again, because Deontay Wilder is an Al Heyman fighter, Charlo is an Al Heyman fighter. Danny Jacobs is advised by Al Heyman. Let's see what follows after this. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.